everyone, so today I'm gonna do a chit chat get ready with me. I think I wanna do something with really dark lips today and really simple eye makeup, so like a really simple bold look. Just because this top I feel is quite edgy and I feel like it'll look really good with just like a simple but edgy makeup look as well. So yeah, that's what I've got planned. Hopefully it turns out okay. I've just like low-key curled my hair. I used this 4-in-1 by Numi, just like this small little thin wand and literally just wrapped random sections. So let's just get started. What is my hair doing? I'm gonna start with some Smashbox Primer Water. I'm so low in this. I just want to get through it I've kind of forgotten to use it for the last few weeks. I really like it. It feels nice on my skin And then once that spray kind of settles in I'm gonna use some prime time by bare minerals This is the neutralizing one. So it's a little bit yellow which will help to neutralize the redness I have on my skin So I'm gonna do like really bold eyeliner I think like a really thick eyeliner or something actually should I be doing my eye makeup first then probably just in case I screw it up so I'm just gonna conceal around my eye area I'm not gonna worry too much about my bags but I'm just gonna start concealing with pro conceal and light ivory mainly focusing it on top of my eyelids just to act as like a base because I have really really veiny eyelids and then I'm just going to use my Shanique So palette. And I know some people are like, stop using your palette. But I'm just using the really simple shade. So if you don't have this palette and you're not interested in buying it, you can just use what you have that's similar at home. I'm just going to take this like light beige color. Most of you will have something similar to this. It's just a matte. I'm just using like a dense um, blender brush. And I'm just buffing that all over. Just so that my whole eyelid is set and it looks nice and even. And then I think I might take a brown or something into my crease. Just like a really light one. I'm just going to use this one from this Flushed Streak palette by, Na uh, by Naked. By Naked. By Urban CK. I'm just going to really softly put that bronzer in the crease. I'm not really making it intense. I just want something really nice and soft. Just to give me a little bit of definition. And then I'm just going to take this color here in the middle, just like a shimmery light color, and just press some of that on the eyelid just to make my eyes look nice and bright so we can balance out the intense dark eyeliner. You can skip this step if you want it to look a bit more intense. And then I'm just using a little bit of that yellowy color just on top of that crease just to warm it up. And then I'm going to use some tape so that my eyeliner comes out as perfect as possible. And then afterwards, if it's still screwed up a little bit, you can just use concealer or makeup remover to sharpen it because we haven't done our base yet. I'm going to use some Black Track by MAC today. I'm going to use that with an eyeliner brush based on beauty. You can see this one's nice and thin so you can get a really nice precise line. I'm kind of going to do like a real thin inner corner and then get thicker at the outer corner, hopefully. I think my eyeliner is like starting to dry up. Damn it, I got too thick on that inner corner. I'm just gonna use some Q-tips to like wipe it away. We'll just touch up that shimmery color afterwards. I'm literally just like wiping it off. My crease in my eye is so annoying because when I go like that, it makes it look crooked. When I go like that, it looks good. So I'll just like walk around like this all day. <laughs> Creases of my eyes go real far like back here. That's why I usually do like a flick wing rather than like a solid wing like some people do. Like I love the look of this kind of wing but on my eye shape it just doesn't work properly. But we're just rolling with it, okay. My eyes are like completely different shapes and I can't get it good. You guys know every time I do eyeliner it's never perfect but once you put on lashes and everything you can't really tell and I just like to clean off my brush straight away after I do eyeliner I just use some cinema secrets because with eyeliner brushes because they're so delicate you just want to make sure that you don't leave products like caked in them all the time because it can like strip the hairs and everything you know okay before we do the lashes and everything I want to do my face makeup and I might do a little bit of like bronzed look just because I want to try that liquid hula. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm just going to spritz on a little bit more of that Smashbox Primer Water just to make sure my skin's nice and hydrated. So for foundation today, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation, and I'm mixing together 120 and 128. Actually, I'm just going to start with this shade because this looks like an actually ugh, might match. This is 120. And I'm going to use an angled face brush today. My chair is so squeaky. I need to get a like, new one or like oil this one or do something to it. 
So with this foundation, I kind of like to just like press it in as you can see. It gives the most beautiful like flawless finish. I really like this foundation. It's one of my favorite drugstore ones. And then because my under eye area is a little bit dry at the moment, I did put on some eye cream but it's still not feeling the best. I'm going to use some of this Fake Up by Benefit. It's got like an eye serum kind of thing in the middle, can you see? Or on the outside and then the concealer's in the middle. I don't really use this that often. I only ever use it if I've got really dry under eyes because it's really, really moisturizing. So I'm going to use this to start and then I'm going to use another concealer on top. And I'm just using that same dual petal brush that I used earlier. And this is just going to hydrate. And then I'm using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Concealer, which is another really hydrating one. Just a little bit of this over top. I'm going to use this like in a triangular shape just to highlight my face. And then I'm just going to put a little bit right on the center of my chin. And I need a lip balm. This is just her raw. That looks really nasty. I put on like the thickest layer. It's kind of mixed with the foundation on my lips, but I'm going to wipe it off before we do our lipstick. So excuse it. I'm going to use the Do The Hula. And I'm just going to use this like around my face just to bronze. So I've just used a couple of pumps on my hand. And then I'm using this little duo fiber brush. You can see how it's a little bit tapered. This is a new XO Beauty one that's coming out very soon. You could also use the dense fiber brush. I'm just taking some of the brush and I've like stippled a little bit off. And then I'm just going to begin in circular motions, just buffing that on the outer portion of my face. Try not to get your hair included like I just did. Oh, this color is so pretty. It's not as intense as I thought it would be, which is like a good thing. I like buildable products when it comes to cream. really really easy to blend like so easy to blend I did get it in my hair though <laughs> and then I'm gonna try some of this dandelion dew as my blush or like I might add some more blush later but at least just to begin so I'm just taking one pump and I just wiped off the same brush Okay, I put on way too much and I barely touched it. So this one's like uber, uber pigmented. You need like a quarter pump. <laughs> I love the color though, love. I don't know how well it's gonna go with deep lips. And then going back in with my foundation brush just to make sure everything is nice and blended. That Do The Hula really like sinks into your skin and looks natural, it's really nice. It looks a little bit funny on this side of my face from these blooming pimples and things I've got. I'm gonna contour still. This is just like my bronze. It looks so much better on this side of my face, which is my ugly side. <laughs> I really like the way it looks on my forehead and nose as well. It just gives like a really subtle bronzed look. So for powder, I'm just gonna use a translucent one. This one is destroyed. This is by Makeup Store. I dropped it. It's like the only makeup product I've ever destroyed. It's really sad. So I'm like determined to use it up. I know I could like press it and everything, but I just cannot be bothered to be fair. I'm using a really dirty powder brush. I've got like this on it, look. <laughs> I just like dip it in and I usually like put on quite a bit and then just tap it all over and then once I've got it everywhere I just kind of like blend it all out. <gasps> what the heck? Look! That's melted! How did that happen? Must have been from the sun. Like my room gets really hot sometimes. Look at that! <laughs> How? What have I done? I think anything else is melted. Oh my gosh I'm gonna have to like this is my own fault for having a messy desk. I need to put my makeup away. I think later on I need to have a bit of a tidy up because I don't want all of my friends' stuff to melt. Anyway, I'm gonna use a bronzer brush, which looks like this. And I'm gonna use the NYX contour kit. I think I'll use that, maybe that one mixed with that one. Oh, that one. <laughs> and I'm just using this to contour. Oh, and I'm gonna use the yellow powder as well at the top under my eyes in a second. And then I am sorry, but I am not allowed to tell you what highlight product I'm using. But if you're doing this at home, just use whatever highlighter is your favorite. I'm using like a champagne pink one. And I'm using a shimmer fan brush to apply this. I'm also putting a little bit on my brow bone. And just above my eyebrow a little bit. For my lips, I'm going to begin with Moisture Mist Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Bricky Red. 
I've decided I'm going to do a really dark red. And then for the lips, I'm going to put on some lip tar. This is OCC Vintage. And I'm just going to use a lip detail brush, Bake So Beauty. I feel like I could have gone like a darker red. I'm going to put on some Unicorn Blood by Jeffree Star as well. I probably should have just used this. Yeah, that's better. On my brows, I'm going to use Chi Chi Blonde with my favorite eyebrow groomer brush. These are out of stock. Everyone went mental over these. Like, these sold out faster than any of our other... Ooh. These sold out faster than any of our other brushes. I swear, like, everyone bought one of these. So, if you missed out, they are back very soon. So, don't worry. So, I'm just using the um, comb just to brush through my brows. And this just makes it easier to fill them in because your brows kind of get all tangled. Even though it doesn't seem like it, but... Once you brush them out, it's way easier to apply your product. With this Chi Chi Brow Pomade, I'm obsessed with it. But literally, like, you want to take the smallest amount that you possibly can. If you use too much, your brows start looking goopy. But if you use just a small amount, it's incredible. And then I'm using an old favorite, my L'Oreal Brow Plumper. And then lashes. I actually used a pair of the Soulmate yesterday by EXO Beauty, so I'm going to go grab them and just reuse them today. Alright, so I have my lashes. This is how they look. They've got a little bit of mascara on them, so don't mind that. They're really beautiful and really flirty and fluttery and PC, and I really like these ones, so they should obviously fit because I wore them yesterday. Yes, they do. Um, I'm just going to use some Ardell Lash Glue. This is a product you either love or you hate. I love it. If you find it doesn't stick, you just need to like go over like two or three times and then apply it immediately. Don't wait for it to dry because it's latex free. I think some people put the stuff on, leave it, and then try to attach it. And by the time you do that, it'll be dry and it won't stick to your eye. So basically you want to paint it on and stick it on straight away. I like to do a semi-thick layer. This stuff does not budge either. Like every time I wear this, it's a bit of a mission to get them off at the end of the day. You've really got to like soak them off. Because if you pull them off, you end up pulling off your eyelashes too, which is not exactly ideal. So I've got the glue on and just gonna go ahead and stick those on. Just using a pair of tweezers, nice and easy. So that's how they look with obviously no mascara on yet. Then for mascara, I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Sumptuous Knockout. Something is beeping in my room and I don't know what it is and it's really annoying. <gasps> It'll be this. Is it this? Yeah, I guess it just beeps while it's still plugged in. So you know to unplug it or something, I don't know. So people don't like burn their house down. I just got mascara everywhere. I just destroyed my under eye area because I got mascara everywhere and I didn't wait for it to dry properly and then it smudged and then I put more concealer on and now it's cakey. I'm using a little bit of my highlighter just on my inner corner. And then to finish off my makeup, I'm just using some Chill Setting Spray by Makeup, no, by Urban Decay. So that is the finished look. I really like it. It's a really good, like, everyday kind of bold look if you want to do something a little bit more dramatic. Or you could easily wear this for nighttime as well. Totally up to you. I love the makeup with the hair. I don't know. This hair was so easy, but if you do want to see a tutorial, feel free to ask because I could always do it in, like, a two-in-one. Like, you know, do my makeup and hair in a video because it's so easy. It's, like, it takes, like, 30 seconds. Oh, okay, maybe, like, two minutes. But still, it's really fast. But it's effective. I think it's really nice. Let me know what you think. I'm obsessed with this lip color. Like, it's so beautiful. Obviously, you don't have to go through all of those steps that I did today. I just thought that vintage would come out a little bit darker, but Jeffree Star is just, like, a bit darker. I really liked the color of this, but once I applied it, I realized I wanted something a little bit deeper and bolder, so that's why I went with the Jeffree Star on top. You don't really need to wear all of them at once, so just go for whichever color you like better. Some of you may like the lighter color. This might be too dark for some people, but... You know, it's totally up to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I would love to see you back on my channel. If you are new here, please subscribe. I upload three times a week. And if you have any requests for new videos at all, feel free to leave a comment in the comments. And just let me know what you want to see because I would love to do more videos that you guys want to see. Of course, that's why I'm here. Have a fantastic day. I love you guys so much. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.
as I said, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you want to watch some more of my videos right now, I'll put the links to these on the screen down in the down bar. Or you can click the screen if you're on a PC. The one on the left is a What's In My Mouth Challenge with Sully Joe, And the one on the right is a really pretty like first impression full face tutorial. I did like purple lips and it's really cool. So I hope you guys like them.